What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to a brand new episode of What's Happening Online, the show where we take weekly news, multiple topics, and discuss them all in one video. But before we get into today's video, we are sponsored by our good friends at Manscaped. If you've been around this channel for a while, you know these guys have sponsored so many of our videos, supported the hell out of this channel. And due to it being April, which is Testicular Cancer Awareness Month, Manscaped have partnered up with the Testicular Cancer Society to help and save your balls because really, on a serious level, it's extremely important because one man every hour, every day, is diagnosed with testicular cancer. And if you go to manscaped.com slash TCS, they show how you can properly check yourself for testicular cancer and keep yourself as safe as possible regular checkups because it is the most common form of cancer in men aged 15 to 35 and you know that once you're done checking your balls out manscaped have the best grooming products on the market the classic Lawn Mower 3.0 trimmer, skin safe technology so you don't have any nicks or any cuts. Has a little flashlight as well, which we love to see. Prop mop, ball wipes, their ball deodorant, keeping all your hygiene needs met. Keep downstairs as well kept as you would keep your hair or anywhere else in your body. So as always, you can use my discount code CAVOS20 for 20% off at manscaped.com. The link in the description right now. It really supports my channel, every purchase that is made. So if you're thinking of doing it, make sure you do and also more importantly check out the link manscaped.com slash tcs check how you can routinely check yourself because it is really important and don't be scared to it's just natural and it's something we all need to do to make sure we all keep safe and healthy on with the video so today we have a few topics I want to talk about today. Not a jam-packed episode, however, quality over quantity. Now let's start with Jake Paul versus Ben Askren. It's been causing a lot of media controversy surrounding the numbers that this fight has done. Now the pay-per-view estimates for this fight were around 1.2 to 1.5 million pay-per-view buys. That is insane the amount of buys that has done however dana white daddy dana doesn't seem to be too happy at a ufc press conference he said that these numbers that we are hearing are bullshit the numbers that you're hearing that they did are full of shit they're full of shit okay they didn't pull those kind of numbers at all not even close doesn't really give any reason why though he just says that they're not real numbers and that's it no actual reason and I mean Dana White has a reason to be salty because if this fight say it did the 1.5 million pay-per-view that have been rumored compared to the UFC's pay-per-view Jake Paul Ben Askren fight would be number four in the all-time UFC pay-per-view rankings which is crazy especially for Jake Paul's what third professional fight so Dana White might just be throwing his toys out the pram here Jake Paul responded to Dana White on Twitter saying Dana you claimed you would bet 1 million on me losing set up Askren to train with Freddie Roach gave him full access to UFC PI and he still got his ass handed to him Seems like you are the real douche, not Ariel. In my third fight, I made more in total pay than any fight in UFC history. Maybe it's time to pay your fighters their fair share. No wonder they all want to get into the boxing. Dana, you say you make the fights fans want to see, so hurry up and make Jones versus Ngannou. Pay them their fair share. 10 million purse for each guys plus pay-per-view. Why are UFC fighters so underpaid versus boxers? Why did I make more in my third fight than all but two Khabib and Connor UFC fighters have in history? I know why. Fucking shots fired at Dana White and the UFC there. And yeah, Dana White didn't come through with his million dollar bet with Snoop Dogg or Jake. While we're talking about the UFC, we can't not talk about this. Jake Paul wants to fight fucking everyone. At the latest UFC event, him and Daniel Cormier confronted each other. And in the interview afterwards, Daniel Cormier said he wanted to smash Jake Paul's face. I wanted to grab his face. I was yeah. going to grab him by the face, but I would have gotten in trouble by the UFC. I wanted to grab him by the face and smash him into the ground, but I can't do that at work. I would have gotten into a lot of trouble. Uh, is this real life? How is Jake Paul getting in beef with Daniel Cormier? This is crazy shit. 
But Jake wasn't done there. If Daniel Cormier wasn't enough, he also wants to fight Usman. Yes, recently ranked number one pound for pound fighter in the UFC, Usman. Jake Paul, for some reason, tweeted out, challenge accepted at Usman. If your boss Dana gives you permission to box me and make more money than you ever have, let me know and we can lace them up. I promise it will be your biggest payday. Usman responded with, Keep making your money, young man, and stay on that side. I ain't no Disney kid, and I don't play fighting. Jake, I will give you this advice but once. You will get absolutely battered by Usman. Boxing or not, anywhere, Usman will fuck you up. The last opponent was Ben Askren. Usman is up here. He's on a whole different planet than Ben Askren, especially because Usman can actually strike. And while we're on the topic of fighting, Logan Paul and Floyd Mayweather have finally confirmed and set a date for their fight. Tweeting out, it's finally official, fighting Floyd Mayweather at the Hard Rock Stadium in Miami on Sunday, June 6th. And Mayweather tweeted out saying, June 6th, 2021, Miami, me and Logan Paul will be fighting at the Hard Rock Stadium. Here's the official poster for it. Don't even need me to talk about this for long. Logan Paul is going to get slapped. It's quite obvious he's going to get slapped silly. The only thing that makes this interesting and I think is the marketing plan is the weight and height difference. I don't think he knocks out Logan Paul. I think he just wins on points. But Logan Paul will be laughing to the bank anyway. Now next and our main topic today and what I really truly been itching to talk about. But the latest trend in streaming these days. It has sweeped Twitch by fucking storm. Titties as far as the eye can see. Thanks to hot tub streams. If you're unaware of this, ah, oh, it is what it says on the tin. Girls sitting in hot tubs and streaming. And you know, who knows, maybe when someone donates or subs, they will show off a little extra to their viewers by putting a star on a wall or writing their name on a board that just happens to be out of arm's reach and behind them. So we do a little spin. And I'm telling you, streamers have been blowing the fuck up off this trend. I mean, who would have guessed that sex sells? Other streamers have voiced their concerns over this whole new trend and the sexual nature of the content as Twitch does have TOS against sexual content on their platform. XQC gave his take on hot tub streamers. Here is the concern. The, the way that the terms of service are made, okay, is that you can't be like very, very uh, uh, naked on stream. The concern is that when you go to the pool, when you go swimming, the gray area is widened. It's much thicker because you can be in swimsuits and swimsuits go all the way from fully, fully covered to all the way near naked. Then it becomes hard to say, oh, well, are you, wait, is this a, is this a bra? Are you, are you nude or are you not? Because it's a swimsuit. Except now it's maximized to the point where everybody's in their bedroom and sometimes even at their computer. Eh, literally almost like a chair at their computer. Right? And that's still fine. The real next level concern is um, when that's completely min-maxed. Right? And, and people are at the computer. Let's say and they're doing normal streams. Like they go all the way max, max out. And then... People start pull it, pulling that shit with like like weird non-existent pools or whatever, right? Being half naked. Then other people don't know what's going on and they might do them on their streams, right? Where they're gonna do the whole thing and they're just gonna be low clothing but without the pool. And then one, one st one, uh, once some of them get banned for nudity or whatever, then they be, whoa, whoa, why? Why are they getting banned for, why? They're the same as the other one. Oh, but they're not sitting in the water. So, so what is it? Is it, is it about the water? The swimsuit? One of the problems is an oversaturation of the top directories of only pools and naked make it, make it very difficult for other girls to survive in that ecosystem. 
and it creates an expectations out of viewers that it's gonna that that, it, that it's gonna happen. Like, oh my god. Uh, I'm sorry. I just subbed, but you didn't write my name on your body. When is that gonna happen? Uh, it creates a lot, it creates a lot of pressure, and it it it's it creates a very very difficult environment for other female streamers that were already having a tough time to grow their streams and have a voice or, or a size in those directories. The man is speaking facts. Twitch is now filled with hot tub streamers and successful ones. It's no surprise that girls showing off their bodies equals instant success because it has. Others will see that success. Others will look at that easy money and be like, why the hell am I not doing this? Get on Twitch, copy the trend, and suddenly Twitch and the just chatting section is oversaturated as fuck with just hot tub streams, which in turn makes it extremely difficult for female streamers who are just actually streaming, playing games, or just, you know, streaming a normal stream and trying to gain success that way, dare I say the honorable way, makes it almost impossible now because every other girl's whipping out their skimpiest bikini and getting in their hot tub. Valkyrie Ray seemed to not understand the hot tub streamer hate because there's been a lot of backlash saying this i was also on twitch today i was watching a few stream i was in the just chatting section for the first time in a very long time and i saw a lot of really sexy women um i saw one particularly in like she was in a bathing suit and also like straps like she was all strapped up like um she's she was very 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 hot but i was wondering uh you know like there's people they were Obviously, people were really pissed. You know, she's doing jumping jacks, doing her thing, you know, getting that bag or whatever. But there's people in chat just being so rude. They're angry, right? But it's like, why, why are you so angry about her? You know, it, it works for a reason. You know, like what? You're getting it. It's like free for you. You don't have to donate or subscribe. Like, isn't this a good thing? Like, isn't that what, isn't that what men want to see for free? Like, why is it? I don't. Anyways, so I just I just don't get what the issue is. If no one's hurting anyone, why? What's the issue? I don't get it. I think as well. I mean, it is still Twitch at the end of the day, a gaming platform. That's what it always was. If hot tub streams start becoming the norm, it turns into something entirely else completely, especially if it's everywhere on the site. Twitch could quickly be rebranding to twerk because for a minute, if we do just cut the shit, and talk as adults. The reason these succeed is because people want to see some ass and tits. It isn't because they have great personalities and just happen to be in a hot tub or they're just mega entertaining. If that's the case, you wouldn't need the hot tub in the first place. There's plenty of girl streamers, female streamers, who have made a great career for themselves without ever stepping in a hot tub. The facts are, it is just a loophole around Twitch's TOS that have helped some girls who weren't making it on Twitch make it and get a quick buck. And you know, I have nothing against showing your body, being in a hot tub. Hell, throw me in the hot tub with you. Do I think it should be all over Twitch? Probably not, but you know, if Twitch allow it, if Twitch go hot tub streams are the new thing, go get in your hot tubs, ladies and gents, then what more can you say? I understand though why people are mad and angry about this trend, especially the points XQC brought up, I think are the best arguments you should be able to make. Twitch have since responded to the outrage on a live stream saying they are monitoring it closely. Um, so, hot tub meta. I think there's a couple people in chat that is asking about the hot tub meta and we're going to talk about it so we understand at twitch that this has been getting a lot of attention from the community lately and we have been watching closely our nudity and attire policy does allow bathing suits in an appropriate context and hot tubs do fall under that criteria however what has not changed is the sexually suggestive and explicit content is not allowed under the guidelines under the tos and twitch will take action when that is reported to us so 
So they're looking into it. Basically, they said that if it gets too sexual, apparently, they will take action. Which I highly doubt because Twitch staff and mods are the biggest simps in the world. They're probably the highest donos to all these hot tub streamers. Better yet, it was probably their idea. What do you guys think below? Comment below. What do you think about hot tub streams? Do you think it's damaging Twitch? Do you think it's great for Twitch? Or do you go on Twitch sometimes and get confused with a cam girl site? Let me know down below in the comments. Let me hear your opinion. Let's try to get 2,000 comments on this episode. Please leave a like as well. Can we hit 10,000 likes on today's episode? Every like really counts. I'm trying to set like goals now. I never do this, but if we get 10,000 likes, I'd really appreciate it. I have loads more new videos coming out really soon. Got a bunch of them planned. My Instagram and Twitter in the links down below. Please subscribe if you're new. Turn notifications on. Really helps out. And until next time, fuck off.